my horn is not working man i don't know what's the problem i have to see i have to go back to kolkata and get it checked uh, see the roads are like this oh my god when the sunlight falls on your face directly <laughs> and still you feel cold my hands are freezing oh my god i was feeling warm when i stopped there and uh, it's 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 like chill it's like i kept my fingers i kept my hands inside a freezer that's how cold it is i'm not able to feel the throttle i'm not able to feel the clutch i'm just <laughs> oh my muscle memory is just, is just kicking in that's all i'm not feeling my hands at all all the places that i visited on day 3 i just had a nice time man alone i met some nice people people <laughs> i met some nice people here they were good they spoke very kindly they tried to you know ask where i am from what i do and they were pretty shocked that i came in bike few people understood that it is a passion and a hobby any anything like that but few people like are like i mean if you come in a train you can it will be like over in 1000 rupees right on both ways i know that i know <laughs> i mean even when i got this bike 5 years ago uh, when i was in my first year of engineering even that time also people told me i mean for 1 lakh you could have got a, a second hand car and easily four to five people have, would have fit in it and and you could have gone wherever you want with, along with your family i even i know that as well but you need to understand one thing you know you will die one day definitely but still you are living your life right you are earning you are doing a job you are marrying having kids you are eating you know you will be hungry within 4 to 5 hours but still you are eating what's the point because you have to survive because it because the, these are all necessities these are all what you need in your life compulsorily marriage for some people it's not compulsory but still i'm just saying how all these things are very important in life enjoying life and uh, experiencing different different places and experiencing these kind of far away places alone is a different feel i'll be honest with you man i don't like to ride in groups even if i'm riding in group i don't like to ride more than 3 maximum 4 4 is the maximum number of bikes that i want to have in a group whenever i want to go for a ride that's the maximum i don't want more than that more than that is just a chaos some people will come in time some people don't some people will have issues and most of the riders who try to go for these kind of rides will have royal enfields and i don't want people who have royal enfields in my group <laughs> ah, no 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 nothing like that i just i just avoid people who have royal enfields to invite them to rides like these because i am not at all sure when their bike gives up they it it it, it may give up right at the morning they start from their location it might give up after reaching the destination or it might give up on the way back or it might give up after reaching their this after reaching uh, their location back from their destination it might be anything but it, it I, i don't know and it may not give up as well i don't know i'm just saying because i i don't trust royal enfield man 
there will be some more the other issue coming up delaying the ride just it just creates unwanted chaos unwanted headache for the riders okay this is a tip uh, for riders uh, i don't know you guys know or not i'm i think experienced riders would know this trick but if you want to slow down in a corner do not use your front brake use your back brake i mean if you're ba- uh, pretty i mean most of the bikes with a back brake are pretty weak and they are only uh, meant for uh, slowing down your pace not to stop your vehicle so whenever on your you, you are you, you are in a corner and you want to slow down that you are uh, enter the corner with more than the speed required you can use your back brake hey nice i have to stop in a spot man otherwise my fingers are going to give up on me oh yes let me enjoy at least a few cows most of the people have i mean, I, i don't know how how because, uh, okay uh i have seen ktms uh, like like dukes uh in darjeeling more than in kolkata <laughs> uh that's pretty shocking right but this is true uh the number of dukes i have seen in kolkata is uh less than what i have seen uh dukes in uh darjeeling please care be careful if you are coming to darjeeling and if you are not at all experience in uh, hill uh hill riding hill roads hats off to this bus people man the bus the bus driver here <laughs> see the swag of that bus driver he is more smoking a cig- cigarette and he is driving in these roads can you just imagine the kind of courage <laughs> the kind of insanity level that these guys are on in sometimes i feel like no matter the skill of the rider bike does matter but no the bike is as good as a rider all the experienced people say this and i used to not understand i i always used to believe that the bike should also be good the better the bike it makes easier for you easier for the rider so that is what i felt but no you have to grow along with your bike you need to skill up along with your bike you need to learn as much as possible with your first bike and my cvr 250r has taught me so many things like many many things i think this is the best bi- bike that i have got for myself and i want to thank the god for you know uh ending me up with this bike i'm just very very thankful grateful to the god that he has made sure that i'm in a safe hand uh, in a bike like a cvr 250r i'm so lucky man <laughs>